Hi guys. Are you as excited as I am? Because I am playing Final Fantasy 3 and it's so pretty and the music is so lovely. And I am planning on playing all the Final Fantasy games on my PC from Final Fantasy 3 and up on my channel. Like, I've never played these before. Like, I've tried to play them but I never got through them far enough. So I really want to try. Of course the gameplay looks totally different from these, like, videos but... I love Final Fantasy, even though I never finished the game. I just really, really want to play them because the newer games have such beautiful graphics and stuff. And I really like RPGs. Just the idea of Final Fantasy really speaks to me, you know? Like, I love this already. It looks so fantastical, which is basically probably the purpose of the games. I think I've played this one before as well, but I don't know for sure, but I think I have to create four characters, like you have to give them names and stuff, like I can change their names. But I don't know for sure. Because I've played some Final Fantasy games, but not all. But I'm starting with Final Fantasy 3 because Final Fantasy 1 and Final Fantasy 2 uh, weren't released for PC. And I want to play them on PC, obviously. But so pretty. I just wanted to share this intro with you, like, because I love it. I just love everything about it. And I can't wait to delve into the story and the characters. The music is some of the most beautiful music I've ever heard in the game, like... Oh, she has beautiful hair, like, wow. I just want to know who all of these characters are. All the locations are entirely different from each other as well. But I don't know if Final Fantasy has an overarching story or anything, because to me it seems like every game is, has different characters and a different story. And not even set in the same world, I believe, because I honestly don't know. I don't know anything about it. I also don't know how long I want, to, I want these episodes to be, so I'm just going to see. I'm just going to find out together, I guess. So we've seen the intro, and I'll press any button. I have to use the um, the keyboard for this. So new game. Ooh, yes, I've definitely played this before. Oh, text is automatic or something. No, it isn't. Okay, there's no voice acting, so I believe I have to um, voice act them myself. I didn't see the hole there. What have I gotten myself into now? See? Um, an orphan raised by Nina and Elder to Papa in the village of Ur. Adventurous by nature, his curiosity gets the better of him as he tumbles into a hole created by the Great Earthquake. Use a keyboard to enter the name, max six characters, please do not use emoticons, please press enter to validate. We're go just going for his own name, like Lunath, I don't see anything wrong with it, so let's just go. Oh. It's a guy, by the way, if you, ha if you hadn't noticed already. Because I know how it can be confusing sometimes. Oh, we're immediately thrown into it. Three! Lunath doesn't even have a weapon, or does he? Attack. Um. Oh, he does. He has a dagger. Oh, that was fast. An entire guy can defeat three goblins on his own. I don't know how good of a warrior he is, but it doesn't seem realistic. Oh. And even missed.
that pose though. Obtain 30 gel, which is the money current in the game. Currency. 3 EXP, which isn't much. Those were monsters. Why do I get the feeling this is not the safest place to be? Because it's a dungeon, mate. And now I can walk around. Okay, do, can I run? Is there any way to run? Well, I can zoom in with X. And how do I run? I don't know if I even can run. Oh, I zoom in. I can also zoom in with Z. I zoom in with Z. And I don't know if I can run. I will just walk. You know? <laughs> oh shit, it's that kind of game. Attack. Does he have any potions on him? Because I don't think he will survive long in his dungeon if he doesn't. Luna's job level is increased. Obtained high potion, that's nice. Okay, I at least know I have a, po a potion. Okay, this leads nowhere. Oh my god, I hate these kind of games. Like, I'm frustrated already. Okay. Don't miss. Okay. Chests? Oh, no, a fight again. Way too many. Like, I. I've played Pokemon, like, you know. But. I always dislike this aspect of it. Like, you couldn't even see the Pokemon appear. Like, it's just out of nowhere. Every time you step around, it's like a random chance you get to fight. The chest contained a leather shield. Oh, which really comes in handy. Like, how do... Like, my game keeps crashing on me and I don't know why, but alright. Um... Oh, I haven't opened this chest yet. Like, I had to reload, seriously, because my game crashed on me. But I'm glad it saved automatically. I'm just trying to open my inventory one way or another. But I do not know how to do that. Like, oh, it's tab. Um, equipment. Like, a leather shield. Okay. And how do I... Get out of equipment. That is like really the question here right now. Like, how do I get out? Oh, okay, it's backspace. Okay, the chest contained a potion, which comes in handy because I really want to use that now. Actually, yes. Let's go. A boulder. Hmm. There's something strange about that rock. Press a Z to take a closer look. Will do. Oh. How did I not see that coming? Sarcasm. Oh, he just got surprised. That's a tank. With our fresh health. Okay. I think our shield really helps. Let's go. Another chest. The chest contained a long sword, which is exactly what I need right now to get more damage done. Attack 10, that will help a lot. And level up. Okay, I can go three ways. Let's go left first. Ooh, different monsters. 
I think they are harder to fight against. Like, see? It's going to be really hard. I feel like, at least. Wow, critical. I, he did me one damage, like, carbuncle, <laughs> really? Okay. Lunas gains a level. And my job level has increased. Okay. We were going this way. Ah, another chest. Antarctic wind. I believe that is some kind of magic. It's not. I thought it was. I really thought. Okay. Oh, wait, let's go in. No, it isn't. So what is it then? Let's look at the items. Deals ice damage. But I think he can't use it or something like that. Like it's not compatible with him. Another chest. Ah. Oh. So I feel like we have to attack the blue wisp first because it takes a longer time to get out. Ah. To take it out, I want to say. Okay. Now we go this way. I also saw on a chest. Okay, can they like mix up the combinations? Because constantly the same monsters together is quite annoying. If I, if I can even call them monsters, I don't know what they're called. You called them monsters earlier, so I can believe I believe I can call them that. Carbuncle's eye looks so creepy. Okay. The chest contained a potion, which I will use again, because I feel like Lunat needs it. We're going to go right. Again, really. It needs to deal like 15 damage before it goes out. Okay, we're done. I hope I went the right way. Like, if there's a chest, I want to get a chest, you know, otherwise I have to walk all the way again. A chest. The chest contains an Antarctic wind, but now I have to go left because I can go that way still. Yes, a different combination. Let's attack the eye fang first. Because I don't know what it is yet. Okay. They really went with the things with eyes. With one eye, specifically. Okay. What is a job level? Like, is actual level or something else than this job level? Which I think is strange. Okay, he can walk all this way. Okay, he can go upstairs here, but he can also... Let's go the other way first. Yeah, I know, guys. This is so annoying, but... We'll just have to deal with it, because that's the game, you know? Like, I actually mind, but you may mind. Because that this is basically all we're going to be doing for this episode. And just me talking you through it. Oh my god. You get used to it. Like I can't even do any different actions. I can just attack because... Or can... can't I like... No, he can't use... Antarctic Wind. 
So I can't really do anything. I have a ghost. I have all ghosts like that. I'm gonna be out of health in no time. But I also still have a hype potion, so I have hope. Come on. Okay. But yeah, it's a good way to increase my level, I guess. There we go. And job level again. Maybe it levels up with every time you fight. There better be something near this side of the dungeon. Um, I think. Okay, they're both on the same level. Gumbunkle and I think, I mean. I still don't know how long I want these episodes to be, like, I'm not exactly sure. Ah. I think it's this healing water. A wellspring. What mystifying colours. I know what effect this is healing water. HP and MP restored. Well, amazing. Now I have to walk all the way to the other side of the cave and be attacked again. At least I know what is on that side of the cave, though. Okay. Oh, my health was on 46 now, my HP. That's really handy. Like, it takes a longer time before I die, basically. I at least have to fight one more time on this level, I think. Yeah, that's what I thought. And there we go, the blue wisp. Old friend. I want to get out of this cave before the end of this episode, like, that's my goal. It's a door. Are we out? Or is there- I feel like a boss battle is coming already. What's that? An evil creature attacks Luna. Told you. Oh god. How is he going to do this on his own? At least I have a high potion. It's going to take a while before. I remember fighting this thing and finding it to be quite hard. I got to reload a couple of times. I have a high potion which I will use at the latest moment. Um, I don't have any magic. Like, at all. But the only thing we can do is poke the turtle with a long sword. Oh wait, can I use an item? Maybe I can use... Yes, I can. That's that is how it works. I'm going to attack him some more, then I'm going to use the high potion somewhere. Oh! It was easier than I thought. I just had to use one Antarctic wind. Probably gonna get huge EXP. Oh, 20. Job level. Oh, he's exhausted. You okay? Alright, you have been chosen, of course, the chosen one, it's not only in books. Who, who's that? Who's there? Warrior from the land of darkness, you've been chosen as the bringer of hope. Oh yeah, I just walked that way. Is that Diamond talking to him? Is this crystal? 
talking to me. Finally, darkness is threatening to engulf the world. When light is lost, the equilibrium will be no more. What are you talking about? Yes, Crystal. There are others who share your destiny. You must seek them out. Luna's party. Once you find them, I will bestow upon you our last light. Our last hope. This sounded annoying me. Now go. Wow, that was the most vague explanation ever. Whoa, whoa, wait. I don't understand. I don't either. Wow, that is green as fuck. Right out of the cave, at least. Like I promised I would do before the end of the episode. I'm back on the surface. What was that? Light? Darkness? Our last hope? What was that all about? Oh yeah, we walk on the map, basically. And we're at the village. Ooh, where Luna is from. I really like these graphics, actually. Let's talk to this man, wizard looking guy. Luneth, the elders are looking for you. Of course they are. But I really like all looking at houses and stuff. I heard that someone put a curse on the whole town of Kazus. I'm not going anywhere near that place. Probably have to go there. Can I go in? Oh. Oh, this is the house of the elders, I believe. So I'm not going to go in yet. Hi, Lilith. The others went over to the corner of town. I wonder what the hubbub's all about. The others? King Sasuni's castle is to the west of here. He is the lord of all the lands surrounded by the Parmeni Mountains, including this village. Thanks for the information, lady. Lilith is supposed to know this kind of stuff. It's said that those blessed by the crystal's light can regain their health and even revive themselves by drinking wellspring water. Ah, uh, that's what he did. That explains it all. The inn. Oh. An exact, an exact copy of the lady I tied. I hear you're going on a journey. You're free to stay here anytime. Now you better rest up for what lies ahead. That's a spoiler, lady. Oh, I can buy stuff. Do I have any money? I could do quite a lot. Let's buy three potions for now. Maybe I'll buy more later. Can I walk in here? Or is it? Oh, who's this? Why, hello there, Luna. Watch me dance. You watch me whip. You watch me nay nay. <laughs> Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> okay. If you're going on a journey, you have to take some antidotes and eye drops. Really? Hey, would you play me a song on the piano? In a bit. Stupid earthquake. I can't get back to Kanan because a huge stupid rock is now blocking the entrance through Nelva Valley. That's too bad. I just talked to you, mate. Don't be... Possessive. Can I play on the piano like she asked me to? I can. Luna can play the piano. Background information right here, guys. Perfect. How was that? Never mind. They just booed him from the piano. Like, go away. Can I talk to the. Maybe I dwell? No, I can't. Let's go. Let's walk outside because upstairs are the beds where he can rest. Because it's an inn, obviously. Let's... The most important part of fighting is knowing when to run away. Just press M to do that. Also, if you don't see all your commands, move the cursor up and down to get to the hidden ones. They're not exactly hidden. Aren't those your friends making a ruckus near the far end of town? Make them stop already. Luna's friends are it. The end of town, okay. I heard something happened in Kazoo's village to the south. The elders were having some kind of serious discussion about it. 
Though the kids don't seem to care. The little rapscallions, rapscallions really, are being as raucous as ever near the corner of town. Again, Luna's friends. This, what is this? Oh, okay. I can remove poison. I don't need that. Yeah, it's quite expensive as well. So let's leave. And go, this is the armor shop, I believe. Yeah, we have some leather armor, which I will buy because a leather cap and some bronze braces. And I'm going to um, put it on him like immediately. What am I doing? He's wearing a vest right now, but he needs some leather armor, a leather cap and bronze braces. How does he look? Exactly the same. That's how I like it. Because I don't like seeing a cap on my characters. I didn't believe in spooks until I saw one in Kazoos. Great. Okay, we have a dagger, a long sword, a bow, a staff, and a wooden arrow. I don't, he doesn't attack with a bow or a staff, like he's not a mage. And we already have a dagger and a long sword, so. But we may come back later if we have more different kind of characters, you know? Um, who's that? You can take the items in the storehouse up ahead. They should help you on your journey. Watch out for monsters though. That's what I... That's what the equipment is for, right? Let's go... To... The Elders first, because everyone's been talking about a journey. I need to know what it's all about. Yes? Elder Dawn, I can sense what has happened to you. You must now heed the words of Ella Topapa, which is his caretaker, I believe. I can also use this water to heal him completely. HP and MP restored. Okay. Um, that side is the same fountain. This is, I believe, his mom. Let's just talk to the man in the middle. You have come, Luneth. So it is you who has been chosen. You must understand that your meeting with the crystal was not happened since. It was the crystal's will. You have been chosen. Chosen? For what? I don't understand. A long time ago, a traveller came to me, carrying a newborn child. His face was covered in soot and his clothes were burnt to tatters. The child he carried in his arms was you. Oh, he's not even from this village. To think, even as a newborn, you are already destined to be chosen by the crystal. You must now set forth on your journey. Take your power, the light you hold in your heart, and use it well. So cliche. Okay, thanks mate. Let's talk to his mom. Nina. So this day has finally come. I'm going to worry about you. So promise me you'll be careful. If you run into trouble, try looking at the control hints. Breaking the fourth wall again. You can find by opening config 2 and the config. I'm sure it will aid you in your journey. And don't forget to save your progress frequently too. Well, thanks, Nina. You must make your way to Kazus. Go swiftly, but go prepared. I have to fight the spooks, apparently. Elder Homok. Luneth, you must treat Nina, your mother, the very best you can. You must know by now that she is not your birth mother, but she has taken care of you as if she truly were. As if he, Luna doesn't know that. And he has to leave now, so it doesn't really matter that much anymore, I guess. Um, let's, talk, let's talk to all of you. Uh, what was I supposed to do? Oh yeah, I need to go to the safe, to the storage house ahead to get some equipment. All right then, it's a long way. Oh! I didn't realize there was supposed to be monsters here. Or goblins, or whatever you want to call them. So where's the storage house then? Because I de definitely didn't see the house that was behind him. A high potion. Oh, there it is. Of course. Oh, it's only one goblin 
So what am I going to do further in this episode? I'm going to get out of this village. I'm going to save and end the episode. That is the goal. Blue's job level has increased. Of course it did. Let's enter. There's someone there. There are switches that open hidden passageways in towns and dungeons. You'll have to look closely to find them. Take a look at that candle, for example. It doesn't look different to me. If you zoom in close enough. Oh. See a shining spot? No. The sparkles tell you there's something fishy there. Okay, thanks for telling me. But you also kind of see it already. Um, is there anything I can take from like just right here? No. Like there's nothing there. So it was kind of obvious anyway. Okay, there is an upstairs. And there are all of the chests. So first of all, we have a cure. I don't know what that does, but we have it. Eye drops. A long sword, which I have already, but maybe someone else in the party. Phoenix down, which I think is a magical item. And a dagger. Can also come in handy, so I have all the stuff I need. And we can leave to say the storage house. I keep saying safe house. And find Lunet's friends. Because everyone was talking about them. But I don't know where to find them. I think to the west of town, they said. What's to the east? I think the west. But I don't know if that was Kaz's or if that was... Uh, of if, if those were Luna's friends that we're talking about. So we will see. Okay, so we are back in town again. Like, no monsters can appear me here. I think I have to go this way. Because there's obviously something this way. Flowers. Oh, yeah. Oh, those triplets. Oh, yeah? Ghosts don't exist? Then go to yourself and prove it. Ha! Huh. You don't have the guts. You're a coward. Oh, they're bullying him. Ah, next. Guy in the party. Another orphan raised by Topapa and Luneth's best friend. Unlike Luneth, he prefers reading over gambling in the wild. His studies endow him with great knowledge that, that more than makes up for his shyness. And his name is Ark. Hey Ark, what's going on? It's Luneth! Let's get out of here! I look up to Luneth, but I look down on Ark. Oh, Ark is upset. Hey, wait, Ark! You don't have to run away from me! What is he going to do? I'm not a coward, but I know I have to be stronger. But I can't ask for Luna's help. I'll show them. Oh, that's a stupid idea, mate. Who's this? Oh, hello, Luna. I'm picking flowers. Okay, girl. He, walk, he ran straight out of town, but I need to go to the other side of the village because I haven't been there yet. Like, I want to explore everything. Really. Oh, but it's out of the village. Anyway. So, where did he go? I just saw the village. Let's fight these goblins, then go to cases, causes, I don't even know, because and end the episode. I think there's going to be a cutscene there, so I'm going to stop it right here and end the episode now. I hope you enjoyed this episode because I certainly did. I can't wait to play all the Final Fantasy games finally. Maybe if I make videos about them, I can finally stick to them and finish them. And I really hope I will because I'm looking forward to experiencing the characters and the stories. And I will see you next time. Goodbye!